Hello friends, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My goal here is to inspire, educate and impact life, especially the young ones. So if you are ready to join me on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's grow together. Alright, so today in this video, I will be showing you how to control your laptop using your mobile phone how to control your laptop using your mobile phone this is so easy to do but then if you find any difficulties you can leave a comment at the comment section so follow me step by step as i do this okay so first of all you put on your data then you move to the play store or the app store then you search for this app chrome remote desktop okay all right so this is the app that i'm talking about chrome remote desktop so once you have it just go on to download it chrome remote desktop right there we go okay so once you have it you just have to open it so you sign in with your google account and after that you go on to your computer your computer so what we're going to do is we're going to open our browser then when you open your browser inside the search bar just type this um, chrome remote desktop then you access the first link okay so you can use any of your browser um, either the safari browser mozilla then the others okay so what we're going to do is you have to log in the account that you logged in on your mobile phone when you, after you downloaded the app on your mobile phone you log in with your google account then after that when you come to your laptop you do same thing so i've already logged in my account over here so what i'm going to do is i'll go to turn on and you set up the name of your computer that is Paroi over here, so we'll go to next. Then you set up a six um, digit pin, right? You don't have to forget this pin because this is going to allow you to access your laptop or your phone, right? So I'll enter my pin, then after that, you go to start over here. Alright, so it's just starting. Starting. Um, okay. Okay, good. So when you have it like this here, you just have to go back to your phone again to start over there, have access to your laptop or your phone. So we we'll go back to our phone and continue from there. All right, so after you've logged in on your computer, you come back to your phone, then you open the app, Remote Desktop, then you see your desk, your computer's name on the phone. So I have my computer here, that's Paroi. Just have to tap on it. And um, you enter the pin, the pin that you set. So, I'm going to enter my pin over here. Sure. And there you go. So, to make everything convenient or to make it um, user friendly, you just have to rotate your phone. And there you go. You can now I'm having access to my laptop. 
and I can do anything on the laptop using the phone. So this is just my phone here. Um, my phone here. So when I go to remote desktop, I have my laptop over here. So let me try and um, open something on the phone. Okay. So if you want to right click, you use your um, double fingers on the screen and there you go. So I'm using my laptop on my phone. So let me have this. Okay, so you can just you can zoom in and zoom out in case you find it to be um, smaller. You can zoom in and zoom out at the same time. Okay, so I can assess everything on my laptop uh, using my phone. So I can watch movies over here. If you want to scroll, you use your double fingers on your phone screen, and there you go. All right, and once you double tap, it's going to open. So I can equally watch movies over here. Okay, so let me try and. Uh, Open the movie here. So, for instance, when you're having a presentation, as I said earlier on, and you want to use your phone to control the laptop, this is the best thing that you have to do. So, I'm watching a movie. That is on my laptop using my phone. I hope this this is good. Also, you can show keyboard so that if you want to type anything on the laptop, you can use this keyboard. Also, you can go to trackpad mode and it will allow you to use the mouse. So as you move um, the fingers on the how do you call it? You move your fingers on the on the screen. It's going to move the mouse cursor. So over here, anything that you want to do, you just move the mouse pointer. Sorry. So if you want to do anything, you move the mouse pointer on the screen. On your phone screen and also if you want to double tap you can double tap on your phone screen and it's going to do any everything over there also if you want to highlight the same way that you've been highlighting you click and move the mouse pointer and everything it's it's very convenient so if i had any presentation i can equally um use my phone to do any other thing on my laptop all right so if you find anything difficult you can just alert me by sending me an email or leaving it at the comment section don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell